What's up StarCraft fans? The patch is now live and uh, although the uh, the game is still under maintenance, for now I checked the editor and it looks like we will be getting new mutations in patch 4.7. I'm excited. Let's go through them because this is, these are likely what will come up uh, in the following weeks. I think there are 12 of them. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 13. There are 13. Wait. Are there? Wait, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, there are 12 of them. Alright, so the reason I think it's likely that these will be the upcoming mutators is because look at this. These are the previous ones. Negative reinforcement, price of progress, cold adaptation. These are all the previous mutations lined up. So this is these are all in the map editor data. This is how I am able to determine what the next mutation will be. And uh, I'm right about 90% of the time, so... And the reason I'm wrong often is because it, they're just rearranged. Maybe there are some uh, holiday mutators in there. There are some uh, wheel of wheels of misfortune. But for the most part, I'm spot on with my predictions, or rather, uh, reading of these uh, of this mutation data. Anyway, let's go through them. So we have we will have uh, retribution and missed opportunities with void rifts. The return of the void rifts and double edged. So I'm guessing for this one, uh, Rainer and Karax will be good. Han and Horner too with their precision strikes. The thing with that is that you need to snipe the Void Rifts as soon as they spawn. Missed Opportunities is a 30 minute map so you need to be on top of sniping the Void Rifts. Even once you're full clear, you will still need to be aware of where the Void Rifts spawn and always keep an eye out uh, to constantly snipe them whenever they appear so that you will be able to uh, not get overwhelmed by the enemy. Double edge will be annoying for commanders with high uh, high damage output and low health. Basically Rainer. So Rainer is the counter for Void Rifts but not the counter for Double Edged. Uh, what I learned from the Double Edged is that you can't stim as Rainer. If you stim, you'll lose more health than you gain so that's uh, something to watch out for. They will have Rise from, the a Rise from Ashes, Rise from Ashes on Scythe of Amon. Self-destruction will mean that enemies explode upon death, void reanimators, oh, and lava burst. Alright, so we'll have void reanimators on Skyth of Amon. We'll need to be aware of where they are, otherwise we'll be overwhelmed by all of the, uh, all of the void reanimators that spawn. There are certain bases on the map, maybe if we can full clear these bases, the enemies will stop spawning, but I'm not optimistic. Because even the void slivers and the void rifts could count as buildings. So they, the void reanimators could spawn from there anyway. So we'll just have to be aware of where, where the void reanimators are. Maybe put some static defenses around our bases. So we can at least uh, know. Uh, or we can at least have a uh, a forewarning. Maybe I think uh, Kerrigan will be good here. Because of uh, the Omega Wars will allow her instant transport. So uh, when the... Void reanimators revive units near our bases, or I presume near her forward worms. She'll know that there's a void reanimator and she'll be able to come back and reinforce. Han and Horner, I suppose, will also have uh, precision strikes, mag mines, and that stuff. Um, I haven't played Zeratul yet. I have I have Zeratul ready. Uh, stay tuned for later. I will release a Zeratul video. So, uh, yeah. Who else will be good? Eh, I guess Rainer will still be good. Abathur will still be good. The Haka. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of good commanders for this. Even Borzin will be good. So, I guess it's all, it's all a matter of playing better. Unless you're Karax. Because uh, Karax is, uh, yeah, you need to have vision. I guess you can even play better as Karax if you have an, obser if you have an observer sieged up for vision. You can uh, snipe the void reanimators as they arrive. So that's a thing. Warp Zone. Temporal Field. Time Warp and Twister. Nothing particularly difficult here, just really annoying, I suppose. I'm, I'm not sure if we can still use uh, Abathur to cheese it by going for the locks really fast, but it's not going to be a fast cheese since the toxic nests don't respawn anymore, or don't respawn that fast while building. Or they don't respawn at all while building. So I'm guessing, uh, yeah, for here it's not going to be that difficult, just play better, I suppose. Since none of these are insta-kill or insta-lose mutations. So yes. Next we will have well-trained on Oblivion Express. Inspiration. Aggressive deployment. Oh. Oh. 
Avenger on the trains. When we kill the trains, the remaining units will have Avenger stacks and also aggressive deployment will have uh, aggressive deployment will have additional waves around the base. So you probably don't want to go for full static defense here, since uh, the enemies will spawn for aggressive deployment near your army. If you don't have an army, they will spawn near your mineral line and take out your economy. So you do want to have an army for this one. An army that's really strong. I'm guessing Abathur, Kerrigan as usual. Uh, Avenger, Rainer is typically not good for Avenger. Uh, Swan will be good, Zagara. Although Zagara could run out of juice. Uh, you can use Zagara, but be careful not to max out too often because you al you'll always lose that. It's just a matter of how efficient you are in taking out the enemy. Uh, Vorzun will be good. Uh, Nova? Alarak, I guess? As long as, as, long as you can uh, keep your Ascendants alive until they have 5 stacks or something, as Alarak will also be decent. Uh, Dehaka will be good. Yeah, th uh, those are the commanders off the, top, off the top of my head worth, who I think are good. Again, I don't know how Zeratul will place it. I haven't played him yet. The, uh, the server is still down for maintenance. So, next we'll have Doomsday Report on the Vermilion Problem. We'll have, oh boy, Poopagator is on the Vermilion Problem. Oh, this, will, this might be tricky. But as long as we know where they... Oh, going nuclear. Alright. So I assume we'll be on one base here. I forgot what did the nukes do hit our expansions. I think they are safe from the from going nuclear. If I recall correctly, I think the nukes drop around our bases, but not on our bases. All right, so we have we just have to worry about uh, knowing where the poopigators are. Rainer could be good still for this as long as you have uh, spider mice. Nova also has spider mice, so it could be good. Han and Horner can uh, precision strike. Kerrigan, I don't think I don't think Kerrigan will be good for this because of the all the AOE mutators and the poopigators. Uh, she has uh, no insta kill, insta mute, insta propagator kill button. So pro I don't recommend Kerrigan for this one. Uh, who else? Vorzun with her black hole is good. Alarak with mind blast. Be careful not to lose your sentence in the nukes. Uh, don't recommend. I don't recommend uh, uh, going for someone who doesn't have a lot of firepower. Maybe Abathur can still use disabling cloud, but you have to be on point with the disabling cloud and make sure not to lose your ultimate evolutions. Can be tricky. All right. Uh, next one is safety violation on minor evacuation, <laughs> self destruction. <laughs> Violation, evacuation, self destruction, laser drillation, and magnificent. Oh, magnificent! -tion. Okay. So, well, the mag mines, there will be mag mines around the uh, the evacuation ships. One, one thing I learned about Han and Horner is that you can use the air, the precision strikes to trigger all of the mag mines. So, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Han and Horner will be good for this. Laser drill, oh, that will be annoying. We can also snipe the. La we can kill the laser drill, and camp it when it goes down. I think that's po that's one thing we can do. Uh, Swan can probably camp that laser drill. Oh, we'll need lots of healing. We, we should. I'm. I recommend sniping the laser drill nice and early. I don't know where it'll spawn yet, uh, since I haven't played this mutation with laser drill. But I'm guessing the laser drill. Is not that heavily defended since I don't know of any areas on minor evacuation that are heavily defended that you can't take out in the first 10 minutes. So I'm guessing it'll be a game of camping the laser drill because it, it will respawn. And it's just a matter of taking taking it down again and again. Uh, all commanders should be good for this. I mean, that's as long as they can trigger all the mag mines with units, it should be good. Then we'll have. Uh, Temple of Rebirth on uh, Temple of the Past. Just die. Yeah, <laughs> as expected. Life Leech, oh, and Barrier, so they'll have lots of health here. But other than that, I think it's uh, I think it's just a matter of killing all the waves twice. 
I think you'll still be able to full clear this and uh, cap the spawns. For Rainer, you'll have to do twice the twice the uh, the spider mines. Kerrigan will be good. Artanis already basically has uh, just uh, basically has just die on his own army. Swan will be good. Zagara might run out of steam again. Zagara is good, but careful not to run out of steam because you have limited uh, you have limited resources, uh, re limited income. You can remake, but only to as only only as much as your economy allows you. Vorazun will be good. Uh, Alarak, as long as you don't run out of energy on your ascendants. Yeah, I'm guessing uh, this this is not this might not be as difficult as uh, as sheer chaos because that one is also has just died. Overclocked. On Mal Warfare, Speed Freaks, Avenger, and Photon Overload. Okay, the buildings will hit back. I'm guessing even the suppression towers will hit back. But other than that, this seems manageable. Mm. Yeah, Abathur will be good for this because uh, his uh, his units hit hard. Kerrigan will be good. The Haka will be good. Although careful not to uh, not to devour. Units that are too high health if you're a Dehaka. Stukov, uh, Stukov as usual. I forgot to mention Stukov all this time. <laughs> Shame on me, right? Uh, Han and Horner also has high damage out. Swan. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I can't think of any particular commanders who are weak to this aside from Rainer. Because of the Avenger again. Maybe Phoenix uh, doesn't have that much damage output so that could be an issue for him but yeah I don't expect this to be too much of an issue next is uh, attrition warfare on void thrashing this one is big for me I read this uh, I, I skimmed through this briefly whenever I see void thrashing on the mutators I always think Vorazun snipe the, snipe the void thrashers but this one has minesweeper and diffusion so it might be diff there's also a, def a default here a default mutators so there's a third one, we just don't know what it is yet. So, <laughs> that's another factor in there. I'm guessing this one could be tricky because of Minesweeper. Although, again, I'm thinking Han and Horner can also use that, uh, again, those uh, precision strikes. Time stop will still be super good. Uh, hmm, could be a, ca could be a case of slow and steady here. Uh, the the widow mice and spider mice hit hard here, so I'm guessing Artanis' guardian shell could be useful. Try not to go with too many short range units like Vorazun. Oh boy, my super and diffusion is not a great combo. I am thinking Vorazun could be terrible for this one. Mm hmm. Not sure how she deals with that. Maybe mind control or something. Tychus is not is another commander with short range units. I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah. I don't think uh, Tychus's grenade deals enough damage to take out the the mag, uh, spider mice. But I'm guessing he can go for some someone like uh, Cannonball or someone like uh, Sirius, whose turrets can uh, or whose turrets don't activate the spider mines since they might be buildings. Have it checked. Uh, hmm, Carax, I suppose. Carax. Maybe Artanis even. Artanis, if you go more for Mass Dragoons and you split them off so that the the, the Magmines uh, the Magmines don't splash on too much of your army. Could be good. Nova, if you get uh, I'm not sure actually how Nova will get this aside from uh, getting siege Constantly having siege tanks move forward and Nova providing detection of the mag mines, or the widow mines rather. Yeah, there's another there's there's another wild card here, another default mutators that we don't know yet. So that's one th another thing to watch out for. Together forever on chain of ascension, just die another just die and polarity. So this one means that uh, you can't you can't solo the hybrid. You always need your allies' army. I mean, you can't technically solo this, but you need control of your allies' army to be able to do it. 
Yeah, just died polarity. So it's the the waves are normal sized, just that you have to kill them twice. I'm guessing the second wave on seven minutes will be tricky on this one. You need to watch out for that. Spectre of Death on part and parcel. This one is could be tricky. Void reanimators and we move unseen. So the void reanimators will be cloaked. You need to you need to spot them. Static defense will be uh will be good here. Also Omega Worms to spot where the reanimators are, so you can take them out. Yeah, I'm I'm I recommend I'm recommending lots of detection here. Artanis, uh, Nova, Kerrigan, uh, Rainer. Yeah, those are the commanders off the top of my head who have great detection. Sukov, probably not recommended since he has terrible detection. Uh, Vorazun, takes a while to get detection. A mobile detection, that is, you can spam cannons. But yeah, you need detection for those commanders. Distant threat, long range, purify a beam, time warp. Don't see too much of a problem for this unless the... Uh, Unless the purifier beam goes into your static defense, <laughs> that could be an issue. You wall off, you wall off uh, on the rear entrance, but the purifier beam will destroy that. So I'm guessing you will need to. All right, you can't wall off here. I don't know how far the purifier beam goes, so uh, maybe I'll see. I'll have to see where this, where, how far the purifier beam gets into our bases. But if they if they go through the uh, the entrances, you can't. You pretty much can't wall off. So you'll have to do this one really fast before the waves get too intense. Yeah, I think those are all the mutators lined up. Uh, another note: Blizzard did uh, Blizzard did do Fright Night last Halloween week, so it, we could be in for another foul play on uh, Thanksgiving week and another violent night. Can't wait for that one on Christmas week. So yeah, those are the mutators lined up. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else I can do, please leave that in a comment. And remember, I will have a Zeratul video up soon. Stay tuned for that. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, Patreon link will be on the top right. See you.